Right, just gonna do a really super quick install of an ESB valve on site for you guys. Really simple. So, the only thing that's different about any other three port or mid position valve is that the flow never goes into the branch. So, the easiest way to set this up is have our flow in to where our triangle is on our valve. You'll see that there's three different shapes for each port. So our triangle is our flow in. The triangle looks like the logo for the Dakin symbol, so we're using that from the Dakin unit into the valve. Next up, you've got a circle, and your circle goes out, and the circle then signifies your hot water cylinder. The square at the top of the valve then signifies your space heating. So radiators, underfloor, whatever type of heating emitters you've got, out it goes. So once you've set that up, the next thing you need to do is get the castellated nut. This castle has got one groove down the middle of it and around the outside, you can just about see, there is another line. The longer side of the line goes onto the valve and you just spin it round until it sits nice and snugly in place. There we go. Don't force it. It should easily just sit in just like that. So we've got our castle on. We've piped our valve up. So we've got the flow into the triangle for the Dakin symbol, our circle for our cylinder and our square up to our space heating. Once we've got that together, quite simply, we want to put the head on. The head comes out of the factory in the box in a mid position. So the first thing we need to do is turn this valve until it meets mid position. So that groove that we looked at that I coloured in, that's got to point to our mid position. So between our heating and our hot water. Once that's in place, we're all set up, ready to go. We know that this comes out of the box, ready in mid position. We've set this to mid position, so now we need to put the two together. Sits on nice and square. It can go on at any 90 degree angle, but I like to fit it so the cable comes out the bottom, just in case we have any leaks. Water can then drip away quite easily. Heads on. Next thing you'll find in the box is the screw. So now we're fixing the head to the body of the valve. And when you get to a point where it starts to tighten, you'll see it start to move slightly. Don't worry about that, that's no problem at all. Next you'll get your dial, and this will only fit on one way as well. So we clip that in nicely. If you can see this red ring showing, then it's in manual mode. So I can actually adjust the valve manually at this point. So I can move it um, on the inside of the body. Um, handy if I'm fault finding. But for us, we wanna make sure, and we just turn it till it clicks in nicely. There we go. Nice and home. Can't see that red ring anymore. That's gone into the body of the valve. Then we've got our cable in, and we wire that back to our unit as per our schematic drawings. And you're done, good to go.